Today, I'm gonna to show you how to color grade log footage. What's up creators, it's Alex Wynn from the Wealthy Creator team, and today in this video, I'm gonna break down the pros and cons of shooting in log. Then I'll show you how to color grade log footage to get the exact look you want. All right, so first up, what is log footage? Log is an extremely flat, low contrast, and low saturation format that makes the most out of a camera's dynamic range. Because the image is so flat, it allows most of the details in the highlights and in the shadows to be captured instead of using a standard profile where oftentimes the dynamic range of the camera is not high enough to capture both highlights and shadows. This is why you'll notice that in extreme lighting scenarios, you'll either have to expose for the darker areas or choose to expose for the lighter areas. Shooting in log allows you to have a bit more flexibility when exposing your scene, and a lot of times you can capture both highlights and shadows making the image look much more professional or cinematic, as some will call it. Now let's go over the pros and cons of shooting and editing in log. The pros of shooting in log are one, like we said, you can maximize your camera's dynamic range, which will result in a more cinematic image. This allows you to retain both highlights and shadows, so there's less to worry about when figuring out if you need to expose for the darker areas or the lighter areas. Two, because the image is flat and desaturated, there's more flexibility in color grading and stylizing the colors the way you want it. The cons are one, it'll require more time and effort in editing. As professionals, oftentimes we're required to complete a ton of projects in a short amount of time. And while editing log doesn't take a great deal of time in itself, editing all those projects can really add up and drastically reduce your workflow time. Shooting in a standard profile already has a color correction baked in for you, making it super quick to adjust to your liking, add a LUT, which we'll talk about soon, and just get your video finished and out the door. I, for one, shoot a lot of weddings every year and overall there's a lot of footage and they take a long time to edit. For this reason, I choose to shoot all my weddings in standard profile and when there's a lot of footage to go through, this speeds up my workflow significantly. Another con is that depending on your camera, editing and log may be too much for your camera to handle. What I mean by this is your camera has a maximum bit depth that it can shoot in. For example, most cameras record with 8 bits of color, while the higher end cameras shoot with 10 bit, 12 bit, and so on. This basically is how much color manipulation, or editing, your footage can handle before it falls apart. When you shoot in a super flat profile and your camera only records in 8 bit, there's a higher chance that when you color correct and try to get your footage to look normal, that it will fall apart, causing banding and unnatural colors. In my experience with Sony cameras, like the a7 III, shooting in S-Log is extremely flat and can be difficult to color grade with the 8 bits that the a7 III has. With Canon cameras like the EOS R, I've found that C-Log isn't nearly as flat as S-Log, so it's a bit more forgiving when editing. Either way, it's more than possible to grade log footage in any 8-bit camera, but just make sure you're careful and try to get everything perfect in camera, such as the exposure and the white balance. Okay, now that we got that all out of the way, how do we deal with it in editing and how do we color grade it? Well, we the professionals will often do most of the work by hand, but if you are in a hurry, a super useful tool to use is LUTs. So first let's look at LUTs. What even is a LUT? A LUT or lookup table is basically a color grading preset that can be used technically to correct footage, such as converting log to Rec. 709, which basically means a standard color profile or a LUT can be used creatively to get a stylized look or feel. LUTs can drastically speed up your color grading workflow and if you're in a pinch, it's something I would highly recommend using. In this module, we'll go over more on how to use a LUT technically, but I'll also show you a quick example of how to use it creatively as well. So let's jump on over to Premiere Pro and I'll show you an example of how I would correct and grade log footage using LUTs. All right, so we're here in Premiere and I have two of the same clips here on the timeline. The first one is going to be the example where we're just going to use a technical or corrective LUT to transform this super flat S-Log3 footage to at least a clean image we can work with. First things first, you're going to want to find the right corrective LUT for your specific camera. In this case, the footage that you see here of Anthony was shot on the A7S3 using S-Log3. In my case, I could go on Sony's official website and download the LUT as you can see here. Just Google your camera brand and find a log to Rec. 709 LUT. Again, Rec. 709 is a standard and universal profile, and this will give you a true to life look, basically converting the flat log footage to something that looks normal. So here I could download this S-Log3 LUT. You can also find these LUTs from your favorite YouTubers or anywhere online. Personally, I found one from a YouTuber called Gerald Undone, and I've found that this LUT is a bit more accurate for my needs. I'll also link it down below just so you can have it as well. All right, so once you download that LUT, open Premiere and select your clip. 
go over to the Lumetri color panel and head on over to the creative. You can also input a lot in the basic correction tab, but I found that using the creative tab to be much better since you can adjust the intensity here if needed. So right next to look here, you can click on this drop down and what you're going to do is hit browse. Now go to wherever you downloaded your LUT and select it. If you want to shortcut this process, you can drag that LUT.cube file to this folder I have opened here. On a Mac, it will be in Library, Application Support, Adobe, Common, LUTs, and Creative. If you don't have the LUTs or Creative folder, you can go ahead and just create it yourself and this will still work. I already have this saved onto my library, so I'm just going to scroll down and select the LUT. And boom, that's all you need to do. And already you can tell the image is much, much better. And we have a clean standard look we can work with and adjust as needed. Again, remember that these LUTs are not perfect, so most of the time they will need some fine tuning and overall just find one that works best for you. So that's it for color correcting and grading log footage using a technical LUT. It's as easy as clicking a button and for the most part, this will give you all the results you need. Now, there are instances where we would want to do this all manually. If you have the time, this will give you much more control and yield better results. So in this next example, we're going to correct and grade the same exact footage, except we're going to completely correct it manually. So the first thing I like to do is open up my Lumetri scopes on the left hand side. If you don't have this, then go to window and make sure that Lumetri scopes is checked. These scopes are basically an RGB representation of the exposure across our image here. The left side represents the exposure of Anthony's arm. The middle area is around Anthony's face and the right side is the focus lights and the computer screen. You can even see that if we play this video really quickly and as Anthony's hands move, the Lumetri scope changes with it. So the left to right part of the scopes is what's in the image and the top to bottom part is the exposure of it, ranging from zero, which is completely black, to 100, which is completely washed out. First, we're gonna go over to the Lumetri color and into the curve section. Now, this RGB curve also represents the exposure of the image. The top right part resembles the highlights and whites, while the bottom left part resembles the shadows and blacks. The middle of the line is the midtones. I'm going to make three points here, one for the highlights, one for the midtones, and one for the shadows. Now, looking at the Lumetri scopes, I'm going to bring the highlights way up to just about there for now. We can always fine tune this if necessary. Next, I'm going to bring down the shadows until I see the scopes reaching close to the zero line. Finally, I'm noticing that the skin is a bit dark and I like my skin tones to be in the 40 to 50 range on the scopes. So I'm going to ever so slightly bring that up too. Okay, so far the image looks a little bit better, but it's still a bit flat and desaturated. We're going to go to the basic correction tab now and fine tune it. So here I'm going to add a little bit of contrast. Then I'll bring the highlights up a tad bit too. And finally, let's turn up the saturation as well. Let's go to around 120. Okay, so now the image is looking a bit better. If we compare it to the clip with the LUT applied, they do look similar. One thing I do notice is that the clip on the left with the LUT is a bit more magenta, so we can add a bit of magenta tint here on our manual clip. Now they're looking better and pretty darn close. The only thing I can notice is the focus sign is a bit brighter in our manual clip, but we can easily adjust that in the curves or HSL secondary. I think it personally looks cleaner on our version, so I'm just going to leave it. Now we have a clip that's been converted from log to rec 709, and this is our foundation for color grading. From here, you can manually do some color adjustments over in the curves tab. For example, we can adjust the color of the focus light in the background. Go over to the hue versus hue curve. Use the dropper tool and select the blue color of the light. Now let's say we want the hue to be a little bit more purple, so you can drag the point down a bit and adjust it to your liking. I'm going to say this looks pretty good to me. You can do the same for other parts of the image as well. For the color grading process, I don't usually do too much, but a creative LUT helps a lot here. These LUTs can be found really anywhere online. A lot of famous creators will typically have their own LUTs you can buy as well. The choice is really up to you, as different LUTs have different styles and tones. In this example, I'm going to apply one of Sam Colder's LUTs. Right off the bat, the image is going to look terrible, so that's where you can adjust the intensity with this slider here. We'll just bring it down way down to let's say 
Typically for these LUTs, you're gonna want them from 10 to 30%. Again, this is all up to your creative taste, so adjust it to your liking, but be careful not to go overboard. All right, so that's it for color grading log footage. Log is a great format to shoot in, giving you the most dynamic range and flexibility for color grading. You can choose to use LUTs or manually grade your footage. You can use a combination of the two as well to get to your desired look. Overall, just have fun with it, take your time, and remember, at the end of the day, Color grading is a creative process and there's really no one right way to do things. We're just here to give you the resources you need to up your production value, level up your business, and make you more money as well. If you liked what you watch and you're looking for more valuable resources, but you're not really sure what you should or shouldn't watch on the big ocean that is YouTube, then check out our online film school 14 Day Filmmaker. Advanced tutorials such as how to color grade log footage is important, but what's even more important is making sure you've mastered the fundamentals. There's over 100 modules that teach you everything you need to make sure you built your foundations correctly. From camera basics to composition, shooting, editing, landing more clients, we got that covered and we'll get you shooting professional content in just 14 days. You can't build a house if you haven't set the foundations first. So join over 20,000 plus students in the most affordable online film school today. We'll have a discount for you in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe, Follow us on Instagram and I'll see you on the next one.